Hello guys and welcome to my next video. My name is Tomáš Fuk, sometimes called Delťák, and this video is a little bit similar and a little bit different than the last ones. Similar in the way that... Uh, or, you know what? You are maybe wondering why am I standing right in the middle of the field? Uh, we'll, we will get to that. This video is similar to the last ones uh, in a way that we will talk about reconstruction but it's actually really different in a way that this is before the reconstruction so there there will not be photos and my comment for it but uh, i'm going to show you our cottage uh, where we are about to start the reconstruction it's actually been emptied out and i'm going to talk about what's our plan what we are going to do with it and in the next videos you will see the progress how it's done what's done and what's the status so yeah why am i standing in the field well because our cottage is over here this is our cottage our summer house you would maybe said in in english here in post soviet soviet era uh, we call it cottage, but it's not in the meaning that it's uh, like made from wood or it's in the meaning that it's something luxury. It's just, well, basically summer house uh, because um, most of us live here in the cities, in the high buildings, in small apartments. So we just love to have some place where we can go in the summer and to uh, have our peace. Talking in peace, uh, as you probably see, this is our cottage and this is the woods and actually really deep woods and this is our dog. <laughs> uh, actually really deep woods, so we are directly in the woods. There are two cottages down, there are two cottages up and there is uh, <laughs> just way, way down and main road the asphalt road is over there and it's not even the main one it's really really um, easy and this is the field so our cottage is basically in between field and the woods and only five cottages over here so really peaceful really beautiful and look at the view i just love it i just love it so much i'm sorry it's windy i will try to repair it in the post and but we shall see. There is the village that we are basically belong to, but it's over the hill behind the fields. When there is, uh, when the fields are grow up, the village is not even seen. And I'm right now standing, standing in the basically highest, highest point of our land. So let's go to see how it looks like from our main part. Yeah, this is basically shed. I don't know if we will talk about it. There is just garbage and stuff that we want to save from the reconstruction this is the pergola which was built by uh by us there is grill there is rose there's two house there is end of our land and uh, there is our dog again there is cherry there is another cherry there is smoke house yeah and let's sit down over here which is my favorite spot and in the my in my favorite spot i mean like look at the view this is just my favorite spot to have coffee in the morning and just sit and have my peace and then when it's afternoon i just like when there is a fire and something something good in the grill and just really really good place to hang out but Let's go and take a look around the around the uh, house itself. There's my car. I will talk about it in the next video. There's the smoke house. Unfortunately, nothing in it right now, but it's really nice. Yeah, to us, this is uh, basically the pile uh, of uh, the wood from that was saved in different different places uh, in the all other reconstructions i was not able to just get through it and uh yeah to shred it 
This is our uh, other shed where we store the, uh, the wood. And there is the wood itself. Look at it. It's just so beautiful. But when I'm turning out, yeah, there are two holes. The holes are here because I wanted to, uh, or I needed to find the electricity and the water of uh, our neighbor because uh, we all take water from over here. The electricity comes from over here and we need to change our septics. So uh, yeah, we needed to dig dig big hole over here. So I needed to find out where it could be done. So I needed to start the game and here is his electricity. Here is his water. And then I need to find out uh, our electricity. I already, mm, it's come to the house over here. I originally thought that it would be directly. That's why I started again over there, but I didn't find anything. So it, uh, it, uh, it actually comes from over here. And there is also the water from the, mm, from the neighbor. So this create us perfect, perfect view. I will need to actually, the reason why I'm here is uh, to uh, mark it for, when the digger shows up, uh, it didn't cut it. I did some try of mark over here, but uh, we will need to continue with it. I will show it afterwards. Well, there is not really anything else to show over here. There is basically only, only grass. So let's come in inside. Well, the first thing you will notice when we enter is ECHO! Yeah, there is ECHO, like really well. well uh, as you can see, it's completely empty. There is basically nothing. So let's talk about it. Uh, what we needed to change, or let's start with the, with the rooms. We come from over here. This is like the main hall, but it wasn't really used well uh, there was there was uh, lots of stuff I don't even want to talk about it there was like table over here for stuff and nothing there was like couch that never ever anybody lied on there was like eh, I don't know there was all old libra library with books you uh, do not want that anybody knows that you own them and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, here is toilet, which is basically fine. And here is the kitchen. So the main attraction is this, the tiled stove. It's something incredible. The heat that comes out of it, it's just so nice and uh, there is nothing like it you know, in the world. I just love it to uh, input the wood and hear it, hear it, uh, hear, hear the fire and the heat is just so warm and so great. Yeah, but there is a problem, the heat from it uh, is not able to heat up a whole, whole house because of these old windows. They are over 60 years old. It's just, they, will, they are basically done. So they are need to change. And so there's one problem. And the second problem is this. Yeah, this is all bathroom. As you can see, it's just, yeah, and there is not even door for it. This is 120 centimeters. I will show it over here in inches. But uh, yeah, you cannot you cannot lie in it. You cannot shower in it. It's just very uncomfort unco uncomfortable. So this is need to change. So our idea is that we will basically uh, shorten this window, and from this line we will build the wall, and also we will we will build the wall in let's say about this line. So we will get 
two new rooms over here. We put toilet over here. Here there will be just sink and uh, heat heater. And over here the toilet will move over there and this will be shower. This whole room will change and this will be shower only. So this is the main big change that uh, we need to do. Also in this whole floor needs to change. There is uh, under the uh, vinyl there is uh, planks and under the planks there is yeah, uh, I would say squara but <laughs> also what we need to change is down here. There is just a small room under the house. And there is the uh, technical part for the for the water from the uh, yeah, from outside, and we need to change basically this part. I will just show, uh, you want to see it as well. You want to see it as well. You want to see it. Okay. Yeah, we need to change basically this part because now uh, this is 20 years old, and it's not really real, uh, reliable. Uh, reliable. And today, usually it is down, uh, down in the water and pumping it uh, up and not the other way around, that it's pumping from outside there. But that's basically it here in downstairs. Uh, here there is just a fridge and uh, for food storage. It's completely empty now. Now there is this beautiful, beautiful stairs up. Uh, and when we come up, <laughs> you will probably see something you will, well, you have never seen before. Well, the dog going upstairs. Come on, come on, good boy. Come on, come on. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, so what's going to change over here? Definitely not the stairs. They are beautiful and we will try to save them and not to damage them. But as you can see, there was just planks and those planks created this room without even doors. There was no doors and this is actually the bedroom for my mother and so this needs, needs to change. Uh, these walls probably are can be uh, take 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 down, but there is need to build a normal wall, uh, change change the floors and windows and everything, light as well. But over there, we want to build the second second toilet because I don't know if it was uh, really great uh, if you can saw it well when the dog came out, but the stairs are actually. Really steep, so in the night when you need to use toilet, it's not something something you want. So uh, we want this place, which is actually directly uh, above the toilet right now. So we want to use this as uh, as an upper toilet. There we want just some desk for work, and in this room, the main part we need to wall up this window because by the hell there is a window to the from, from the bedroom to to the hallway. Hello. And also, if you see this, there is basically parts of the wall coming right down. We had the, our bed directly over here, me and my wife. So every night we just needed to get something a little bit out. Uh, it started started to melt down uh, when the when there was a water leakage in the. Uh, uh, in the roof, but that's all already sorted out. We changed the roof three years ago, so that sorted out, but the interior just is not. Also, there was so many stuff from yeah, before generations, from many, many gener generations before that we never even saw this. So yeah, this needs to be fixed, but it's not that big issue. Also, the floors needs to be changed. And basically that's it. It doesn't seem much when we talk about it like this, but actually it is so... But as I said... Look at the view! Imagine just those mornings when you wake up and you see this. It's just so beautiful, I love it. But hell, 
let's go let's go spray some lines okay okay So the lines for the septic is done. There is uh, everything that needs to be uh, marked is marked. There is the electricity, there is the pipe and the other pipe. So when, uh, when the contractor will come, uh, he will know exactly uh, how to do the septic. So everything is prepared and I'm just waiting him. He should be here any minute. Anyway, thanks for watching this another weird video. I hope you like it and I hope that you are pumped as I am for this reconstruction. It will be great because you know how I am. Look at the view! Thanks for watching. Bye!